I'm Corporal Jennifer Bailey, spokesperson for the Frederick County Sheriff's Office. And what we're doing tonight is an open house event at the Frederick County Law Enforcement Center. Um, we are opening our doors to friends and the general public um, to let them come in and get a behind the scenes look at what the Sheriff's Office is all about. Tonight, we're gonna have lots of vehicles set up. We will have our emergency response vehicle, a patrol vehicle, our mobile crime scene unit out in front of our building for people to come, look inside those vehicles, look at some of the tools that our deputies carry while they're out on the street. And inside, we'll have several table displays. Uh, we have a victim services table, a crime analysis table. We have uh, friends and partners from volunteers of uh, Frederick County Fire and Rescue Services who will be doing some recruiting. We will be doing some recruiting ourselves. We also will be providing building tours this evening. So people get an opportunity to see our patrol room, some of our jail cells that we have here at this facility, and then they will have an opportunity to tour the 911 center, which is really unique to have an opportunity to get inside the 911 center and see where those 911 calls come from. So we hope people will come out and take an opportunity to come and meet us, to meet Sheriff Jenkins and see what the Sheriff's Office is all about an idea of how a dog's nose works in that situation especially is dogs separate odors as you and I if we were walking to someone's house and they were making beef stew we would probably smell beef stew to a dog he's smelling everything that's in the beef stew he's, he's and he's breaking it down he's smelling the carrots and the potatoes and the meat and everything separately so where that comes into play with our our drug working in cars obviously there's going to be a ton of different odors in that car for the dog to smell there's going to be the person's odor there's going to be food, air fresheners, whatever they decide to put in there. Well, that's fine to a dog because he's going through those, those odors in his mind and, and using his nose and he's saying, okay, well, there's, there's the uh, car freshener, there's the person odor, there's the dirty socks that's been in the car for a month and oh, there's that odor I know that when I find it, I get rewarded for it. And that's how they break it down and do it. Um, and obedience is just what it sounds like. They have to do what we tell them to do. So from the very beginning, we start obedience with them because if they're not going to listen to us and do those things that we're asking them to do, then our training is going to be really hard for the rest of it. So we have to make sure they're going to listen to us first and listen well, or we'll never be able to get through all the other things. And basically, obedience is, is healing and downing and sitting and all the things you do with your pets at home, except to a higher level. When I tell a dog to down, we need them to do it like that. Or if I tell him to heal, I need him to do it like that. So we practice this day in and day out. Um, to make them crisper or make them do things faster. Um, another thing they do on the, on the patrol side is, is tracking. And everybody probably has heard about that. Or you think about police dogs, you, you think about tracking. Um, tracking is, is when the dog will put his nose on the ground and follow the crushed vegetation as I'm walking. Um, and then there's these things called scent wraps. And they're little microscopic things that we have all over our bodies. In fact, they're, they're pouring off of our bodies right now as we stand here kind of disgusting if you think about it but um, that's another thing he's trained to find and then when a bad guy runs from the police he's probably going to be scared or he should be scared right so they're kicking off this thing called fear scent which is pretty overwhelming to a dog and, and actually makes it easier for him so you have all those things working for us the crushed vegetation the scent rafts pouring off of this person's body and then this fear scent and that's what all those things the dog are, the dog is using to follow that person's trail Oh, <laughs> 